SpaceX's Starship prototypes have completed four high altitude flight tests so far, all of them being partially successful. And there is a good reason to think that the next prototype, the one with hundreds of improvement, Starship SN15, can make or break SpaceX's timeline for future test campaign. So in this video, we'll try to reason why Starship SN15 is mission critical for SpaceX. Before getting into the video though, if you are new to this channel, do consider hitting the subscribe button to learn more interesting things about rockets and space exploration in general. Now, let's get started. Elon Musk is known to set outrageous goals, and one of the most recent among them is conducting the orbital flight test of Starship in July this year. Some might argue that there is a slight probability of this actually happening, but for this timeline to be a reality, a lot relies on Starship SN15 and its 10km flight test. In order to launch Starship for an orbital flight, SpaceX will first need a lot of data on how Starship actually performs under higher stresses and higher velocities. Along with this, SpaceX's biggest pain point, the Raptor engine, also needs to survive the difficult conditions and perform nominally for the entire duration of the flight. When going for higher altitudes, the time interval between the engine shutdown and relight will also be longer. This means that the Raptor engine will be pushed to its limit during the orbital flight test. However, in order to understand how Starship might perform during the orbital flight, SpaceX will first need to test Starship at altitudes higher than 10 km. They cannot just keep launching Starship for 10 km and then suddenly jump for an orbital flight. Elon Musk has already made clear that they are planning to use Starship SN20 for the orbital flight test. If that's the case, then the prototypes from either SN16 or 17 all the way up to SN19 will inevitably have to go for higher altitudes like 20 or even 50 kilometers. Starship SN15 has hundreds of improvements, but as mentioned in the previous video, new design upgrades can also lead to completely new ways of failure. If SN15 fails to land successfully, then the next prototype, Starship SN16, will have to again go for a similar test campaign until SpaceX solves the landing problem. If landing the Starship remains a hurdle, then the future plans of higher altitude flight test and orbital flight test will inevitably get pushed ahead. On the flip side though, if SN15 lands successfully, then SpaceX can go ahead with higher altitude flights for the future prototypes. But this does not mean that landing the Starship is the only hurdle between SpaceX and the orbital flight. A completely different beast is about to begin testing, the super heavy booster. And the booster can turn out to be an even bigger problem for SpaceX. The Super Heavy is the most powerful booster ever produced. And when you are dealing with something at that scale, anything can go wrong. Now, we will not get into the details of the Super Heavy test campaign in this video, but it is important to understand that potentially it can also be a big hurdle between SpaceX and the orbital flight. Currently, Super Heavy BN1 is fully stacked and is going to be scrapped pretty soon. SpaceX's team has already made design changes for Super Heavy BN2 and BN2 will be the one that goes for the Hawk test. This test will be pretty important for SpaceX as they are planning to use BN3 for the orbital flight test. So what I am trying to say here is that Starship is not the only variable in the equation. The Super Heavy test campaign will also govern the future timeline for SpaceX. As of the making of this video, Starship SN15 has been successfully rolled out to the launch pad and has even completed an ambient pressure test. However, SN15 might take a bit longer for the flight test as SpaceX has installed a thrust ram on the launch mount. This is just to test the new thrust bug design for the Starship. Coming up, SpaceX will be conducting a cryogenic pressure test for Starship and probably multiple static fire tests this time before the important high altitude flight test. So yes, Starship SN15 is quite important for SpaceX's future timeline. After SN15's flight, it will become more and more clear whether SpaceX can actually go for an orbital flight attempt in July. That's all for this video. Let me know your views about Starship SN15 in the comments. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.